In San Francisco, one of a group of school board members was booted off the board for what parents are calling their progressive priorities. She actually tweeted this before they got rid of her. So if you fight for racial justice, this is the consequence. Don't be mistaken, white supremacists are enjoying this and the support of the recall is aligned with this. And that was actually after she was booted. But a bunch of outlets have raised the alarm for Democrats as the parents' uprising goes nationwide now. Some headlines reading, the left is losing the war on parents. Others adding that Republicans should be optimistic now about the education fight. Meanwhile, in North Carolina, one dad's angry speech at, a CR, at CRT at a school board meeting has gone viral. Watch a bit of it. I'm biracial. I'm bilingual, I'm multicultural. The fact is, in America, in North Carolina, I can do anything I want, and I teach that to my children. And the person who tells my little pecan-colored kids that they're somehow oppressed based on the color of their skin would be absolutely wrong and absolutely at war with me. All of that, the parents don't want it. It's a big, fat lie. There's not one, if, there, if you believe in CRT, I want to tell you, you're a liar. That dad, Brian Echevarria, is in focus right now. Brian, thanks for being with us. So first of all, why did you feel like you needed to say all of that? What has the pushback been like? The, the pushback it has been minimal, actually. I mean, I live in a great state. Our school board actually passed a, uh, a non-discrimination uh, resolution trying to cut off the CRT. And it's, it's been overwhelming support, actually. And, and the, the consensus is parents are tired of it. You know, we're raising our kids to be dynamic in so many ways. And then here comes the left telling them that they're not dynamic. They can't be. You're black. You can't do. And I think we're all just tired of it. So you felt like you needed to say this because why? Because it's somebody has to stand up. Here I am, biracial, bilingual, multicultural. You know, the, every time someone stands up to say something, it's along that line. They're white supremacists and, and, and they're racist. Well, if... Having a thriving small business, raising children who are confident. I mean, when did that become the idea of white supremacy? I think black people, Hispanics, I think all parents are, are desiring their children to have those opportunities. All Americans. I, I thought this part really stood out to me uh, in what you were saying. You said, and I think that the same for every parent with the mask showed us that parents, the most powerful group of people in our country, that they are taking back the wheel. Who yes. are you taking the wheel back from? And I saw you in that video. You kind of kept turning around, and you united a bunch of people because the, the key resource is our Americanism. Yes, yes. We're taking back the wheel from government officials, from radical leftists, the, the media. The fact is, parents, every, every policy is a parenting issue. When you talk about my taxes, when you talk about CRT, when you talk about... The, the taking away of liberties with mask mandates. That's a parenting issue because we're all wanting the world to be a great place for our children. Every one of these children are going to make the world what it is in 10 years, in 15 years. And, and those people on the left, they understand that. So they're trying to poison them, sap confidence, sow division, and we're not having it. Parents are literally the largest interest group in our country, and we agree on 90% of the issues. We're unstoppable when we just use everyday common sense, you know, and, and that's what policy should be protecting, is our opportunities to live our life day to day. Look, Brian, before I let you go, I, I feel like this is somewhat the elephant in the room when you go to meetings like that. I mean, I'm a parent, too. Um, my husband and I have been. And we're a biracial couple. And there is a look that, well, all of us must simply agree because we look the same. And that the true diversity in the room that I saw last night and those that, that my husband and I go to that we think we bring into the room is diversity of thought actually is a beautiful thing and in its own lane. Yes, I, I agree with you. Diversity for diversity's sake alone is a loser. You know, the idea is we're coming together in thought, not, not skin color. We don't need X amount of white people and, and B amount of black people. That's, that's not the way it works. And the reason we're united is because of the way policy touches our front door, the way it affects our family. So Democrats typically argue in terms of theory. In theory, what is this? But in application is where, where our heart goes. 
And that's where parents are. We're seeing how these things affect our homes, the confidence of our children, the way they interact in the world they're going to live in. And we're taking back that will. We're saying we're going to live a life that we worked for and provide a better mm. one for our children. No one's messing it up. Brian Echevarria of North Carolina, good to see you today. And you do live in a great state, by the way. Yes. I lived there, too, when my dad was stationed there in Fort Bragg. Excellent. Great to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you.